guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. So in today's video, I'm so excited to be filming this warm toned 90s supermodel um, makeup look as well as a hair tutorial. So let's just get straight into the video. Um, I've started off with my hair because that's kind of like the part that takes the longest. Um, so first things first, I'm going in with my Revlon hair dryer brush and you guys know I love this product. I got it as a gift from my girls for my birthday and I love it. Um, it's so easy to use. So yeah, I'm just going in with the hair dryer brush to kind of like blow out my hair. As you guys can see, well, it's not my hair, it's a wig. The wig has um, some coils, I guess, or waves in it, I'd say actually. Um, so that's just how the wig is. So I'm just kind of like blow drying my hair out a little bit. And as you, can, you guys can see, it's not working super amazing, but it has like loosened out um, the curls in my hair. So up next, I'm going to my straighteners just to straighten it out further because I didn't feel like the hair dryer brush did a lot um, to this hair. It's just hard to manipulate sometimes. And if you guys are wondering how I achieved my um, curtain bang, I think in my last video, or was it my video before, I actually show you guys on camera how I cut um, the curtain bags in this wig. Ooh, bless me. <laughs> so yeah, you guys can check out my last video. I think it was my Christmas makeup look where I actually cut this hair into bangs. Now I'm going in um, separating my curtain bangs as I'm going to be getting my blow dryer um, brush and I'm going to be uh, blow drying um, my bangs to get that kind of swoop swoop dee dee doo <laughs> uh, curtain bang. So this is the Babyliss um, Volumizing Hair Dryer Brush and I really love this product. Um, it's actually been amazing and I've used it on my natural hair a few times actually and it really does get my hair like super stretched out. So yeah, as you guys just saw, I used the hair dryer brush and I just rotated it in the same motion just to um, get that kind of curl in my hair. And you guys can see I'm doing it again. So I'm just rotating it towards the tail or the end of my um, curtain bang. But I'm just gonna get my Velcro um, rolling pin or roller set and I'm just gonna roll um, my hair into it to kind of hold the curls in place ready for when I'm wanting to take the hair down, I guess. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to continue doing that with my bangs because that's the main um, part of this look. Yes, I'm going to blow out the rest of my hair, but the bangs is the main part of this look. So I just wanted to make sure that was done properly. Um, so yeah, I'm just finishing that off and pinning it down with just some simple hair pins, just the hair grip that I have. And yeah, I'm really pleased with the wig. Well, you're gonna, you guys are gonna see how it turns out. So I'll be really happy with that. So yeah, that's my bangs done. I'm just gonna move on now to the rest of my hair and I'm just gonna speed through this. Okay, so it looks like I'm done. As you guys can see, there is still a little bit of kinks um, from like the natural curl pattern of the hair, but so far I love it. It turned out really well. It's still got some volume to it, so I love that. So I'm just going ahead and going with some hairspray just to further set the curls so they hold uh, longer. Okay, so that is it for my hair. It's now time for my face. <laughs> um, I already went ahead and did my screen prep off camera. So I'm just going in with my jade roller, which I love. And I'm just kind of like depuffing under my eyes and around my face. And honestly, this jade roller is so amazing. It's so cool. And it almost feels like I'm having a facial. Like the sensation is actually so amazing. <laughs> Okay, moving on to my eyebrows. You guys know I love a good brow. I'm going in with my, is it Rimmel? Yeah, my Rimmel eyebrow pencil in the shade Dark Brown. And I'm just filling out my brows and I'm using my finger to kind of like clean um, the outline of my brows just so they look a little bit, a little bit more natural. I'm now going in with um, my LA Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. You guys know I love this product. Um, it's my all time favorite and I'm just using it to clean up my brows, firstly shaping them, just, just cleaning them up so they look um, more tidy and put together. 
Okay, so next up, I'm going in with a Primark brow gel. You can use any brow gel, just kind of hold your brows in place. I do like a fluffy brow, so I love using gels. Um, and then next up, I'm going in with another brow gel, but this is a tinted brown um, brow gel, again by Primark. And I'm just using that to kind of like create more natural hair strokes on my eyebrows. If you guys wanted to have like, if you guys want to watch a detailed eyebrow tutorial, just go ahead and watch my last video. I'll link it somewhere up on the screen. You guys can check out how I achieve my fluffy eyebrows eyebrow my fluffy my fluffy eyebrow <laughs> okay so now i'm moving on to the base of um my skin i'm going in with the same concealer um in the shade beautiful bronze and i'm just using it to kind of like basically erase all my hack pigmentation and dark marks which are around my face my forehead and my cheeks and now i'm going in with my uh, foundation this is the nyx foundation in the shade mocha it's the can't stop points up foundation in the shade mocha and I'm just using that on top of the um, concealer. As you guys saw, I don't blend in my concealer. I just put my foundation on top of the concealer, which is what I blend out. So yeah, I love the coverage. You can barely see the pigmentation on my skin. So it's just a great foundation. Okay, so up next I'm highlighting with my Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser. And this is in the shade Christmas Caramel, I believe. Um, and I'm just using it to highlight and brighten up underneath my eyes. And I'm taking the leftover product and I'm bringing it down to um, my jawline. Well, just under my cheeks, just to create further definition. Okay, so now that's done, I'm going in with my Primark Banana Powder and I'm just setting my under eye and any other area where I use the highlighter just so it doesn't move throughout the day and it just creates like a seamless, flawless um, finish. So next up I'm going in with, I don't think I showed you guys, did I show you guys? I'm going in with my Maybelline um, powder and that is the L'Oreal, oh sorry, my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder and that is in the shade Golden Cappuccino I believe. And then on top of that I went in with my MAC um, powder and that was in the shade NW43 and I just used that to set um, all over my face. And you guys can see I'm now onto contouring. I used my Primark contour in the shade Chestnut and I'm just um, contouring my cheekbones as well as using leftover product on my jawline. Okay, so up next, again, you guys know I love this step. I'm using my Film Noir um, blush by MAC and I'm just placing that on top of um, my contour, just to create a deeper contour line um, so my face looks snatched. And of course, I'm using that across my forehead and my jawline as well. So now I'm going in with my highlight and I'm using the Revlon highlight. I don't know the, sh the name of this palette, but I'm sure any highlighter would do. And I'm just putting that on the high points of my cheekbones and it's like a nice golden warm um, color. So next up, it's time for my eyeshadow, um, which is like what brings this look together. I'm going in with the Revolution eyeshadow palette. I think it's called Neutrals v Neutrals. And unfortunately it doesn't have individual shades, but you guys would have saw I used the darkest color um, in my eyebrow. And I'm just now going in with um, my concealer to clean up um, my shadow just to create like a seamless um, eyeshadow placement, I guess. And now I'm going in with some eyeliner just to further exaggerate the look. You guys know I, I really wanted to kind of like define this eye makeup look. So yeah, I'm just using a little bit of eyeliner, which I rarely do on this channel just to make my eyes pop some more. And then up next, you guys know I love this mascara. It's the uh, Revlon Ultimate All-in-One Mascara and it does wonders to my lashes. They make them pop, okay? So I'm just using a little bit of the product on my um, lashes just before I go in with lashes. Uh, well, my false extension lashes, I guess, so my false lashes. You guys can see the difference already. <laughs> yes. Okay, so now finally for my eyes, I'm going in with some lashes. Um, forgive me, I actually don't know what lashes I'm using at this point. Um, they were just literally lying around in my lash drawer and I just used them. They're either the Eldora or um, Ardell Demi Wispies, but I, I honestly don't know. It's been so long since I bought lashes. <laughs> Okay, so to further exaggerate this kind of like 90s vibe supermodel look, I went in with some eyeshadow, the same eyeshadow color just underneath my um, eye line or my waterline. 
and then I'm going in with some mascara as well to kind of just make my eyes pop a lot more and I feel like it's a very 90s kind of like supermodel runway look which I really really love like it's so exaggerated and it's so nice and warm and I love it okay so last but not least I'm going with my lips I'm using the MAC lip line in the shade chestnut to outline my lips and I slightly fill um, my lips in with this product and then on top of that I'm going in with the NYX um, Urban Calf uh, lip liner um, and I love that actually no I go in with my sleek lipstick actually and this is the sleek lip <laughs> This is the sleek lipstick in the shade, what shade is it? I think it's Ghetto Ghetto Superstar. And then on top of that, I go in with my Urban Cap lip liner. And then on top of that, again, you'll see now I'm using the NYX lip cream in the shade Berlin. And I just mix all those two together. And finally, I'm going in with my NYX suede lipstick. And that is in the shade Free Spirit, I believe, um, just to kind of like warm up the insides of my lips and that is more or less the final look so yeah I'm really pleased with this look it's definitely a 90s vibe like hey <laughs> oh yeah and last but not least actually I do like to um, put, place my lips around my um, little finger just to get any excess lipsticks off my lip okay so the final step of this look now is to get my hair out of those um, per well not purple just say the roll instead of the rollers <laughs> whatever you want to call them I'm now going to take them out of my hair oh what am I doing oh I forgot <laughs> okay actually um, I do have a little bit of leave out um, which is when I say leave out my natural hair for you black girls you know what I mean um, I'm just I'm braiding in my natural hair which is at the perimeter of um, the wig and I'm just going to go in with the straightness to straighten them up a little bit and this is what's going to create that kind of like volumizing um, curtain bang when I place the wig down finally See, I'm just straightening out my natural hair a little bit. Ignore all the heat vapors. Um, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so my hair's all straightened out. Well, it's straightened out as it could get. And now I'm taking down um, the curlers from um, the wig. And you guys can see how luscious those bangs look. Like, oh my goodness, they're gorgeous. They're volumized. That's a word? Yeah, it's a word. I'm making it a word. <laughs> They've got so much volume, they fall beautifully, and it literally just ties this look together. Like, wow. Definitely a 90s vibe. Like, like this video already if you haven't, because I'm sorry, like, can you not see this look? Look at the way my bangs kind of just sweep down. Like, look at the side of the, look at that. You can't tell me. Oh, I'm so in love with this look. Like, it's one of my favorite looks ever so easy to achieve and I hope you I hope you guys really enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching um, it's so easy you know to do warm 90s toned makeup tutorial I'd say supermodel vibes actually you catch the girls on the runway wearing this look anyway I'm gonna end the video here thank you guys so much for watching I do hope you enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and comment down below comment what you'd like to see from me and I'll see you guys in my next video Again, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys soon. <laughs>